Forest Hills Elementary School. I'm Colton. And I'm Jonah. Today is Wednesday, October 11th, 2023. Today is day number one of our schedule. For our everyday math students, today is officially day number 33. Please stand for a moment of silence, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance and the Ranger Pride Pledge. I will begin the pledge and you can finish it. I pledge allegiance to the flag. And now the Ranger Pride Pledge. Today I accept the Ranger Pride Pledge Today for lunch, we will be having turkey, bacon and cheese pretzel melt, french fries, steamed broccoli, strawberry fruit salad, and goldfish crackers. The sandwich choice of the day are turkey or peanut butter and jelly. This week is school picture week. Grades four, kindergarten, and pre-K will have their pictures taken today. And, sec and grades two and three will have their photos taken tomorrow. Teachers, if you want Mrs. Hillseller to take photos or videos of your class for the Halloween parade, or if you plan on submitting a craft to be shown during this ha the Halloween parade, please complete the Google form that is emailed to you last week. Attention faculty, there will be an after school meeting today. Please plan to attend. Don't forget to bring in your money to get chances for the reading competition bundles this week. This alligator basket it will be for grades pre-K to grade one. This hippo basket is for grades two and three. The unicorn basket is for grades four through six. And we have this awesome teacher basket complete, complete with gift cards to Dunkin', Starbucks, gummy bears, and number, number old books. The teacher basket chances are three for a dollar. You have until Friday to get your chances to, and the reading competition team will be around to collect your chances. Student chances will be 25 cents each or the bargain price of five for one dollar. Please support our elementary reading competition team and try to win these awesome bundles. Finally, the weather for today is... A high of 62, partly sunny and warmer. Have a wonderful day and please stay tuned for the second fire safety video of the week. The idea that uh, you'd want to leave your door open so that you could smell the smoke, I think, comes from a misunderstanding about what smoke is and why it's dangerous. The, the products of combustion that are going to hurt you and affect you and kill you um, are going to start reaching you before you can smell the smoke. First off, alarm your house so that you're getting the audible warning before the smell reaches you, and then respond appropriately. And you can't respond appropriately if you're already overcome. Closing your door protects you from those products of combustion long enough to give you the ability to make that phone call 
and to make a decision and take some action.